Let me tell you something. You may not be perfect, but you're present. Don't live a life of regret for not trying, chosen ones. Just show up and watch God show out in your life. If you take the first step, I promise you, God gonna take the next step. Stop trying to please people and start pleasing God. You gotta realize that guess what? People cannot put you in a heaven or hell. Only God can. Stop allowing people to tell you who you are and what you ain't. And just know when God calls you, just be present. And put it in the comments below and say, I'm, I may not be perfect, but Father God, guess what? I'm worth it. I may not be perfect, but Father God, I'm trying. I may not be perfect, but Father God, guess what? I'm here. I'm standing in the need of prayer. It's not my mother. It's not my father. It's not my sister nor my brother. But it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Let me tell you something, man. Hard work beats talent when talent don't want to work no more. Let me repeat that. I said hard works beats talent when talent don't want to work no more. You got people out here, they not half as gifted as you, but guess what? They on that grind. You got people out here, guess what? They not half as gifted, half as anointed like you, but guess what? They trying. All we can do is try. All we can do is put our best foot forward. Let me tell you something, chosen one. Stop beating yourself up because you made a couple mistakes. Stop beating yourself up because you have fallen down. Pick yourself back up again. Dust yourself off and say, I can do all things through Christ, which give me the strength. Let me tell you something, man. You got to realize that greater is he that is in you than he that is of this world. God will not put too much on you than you can bear. You got to realize that God is your heavy load carrier. God will carry you and he will not drop you. Because guess what? God knows, amen, that you got potential. God knows that you are anointed. God knows that you are chosen. So let me tell you what God will do. He will carry you and he will not drop you. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. This is how you know God loves us is when he carry you and the cross. That's when you know God loves you. Because sometimes I know it gets hard out here. Sometimes I know you want to throw in a towel. Sometimes I know you can't even pick up your own cross and follow Christ because you got so many people criticizing you. You got so many people judging you, telling you who you are and telling you who you ain't. But I'm here to tell you right now that you are more than a conqueror. I'm here to tell you right now that you are destined for greatness. Do you know the minute that you try, I promise you, man, you're getting ready to accomplish so many goals. You're getting ready to fulfill your dreams. You're getting ready to walk into your calling, walk into your purpose just by you trying. Because guess what? The devil going to come at you. The devil going to play tricks with your mind, telling you what you can't do, telling you what you shouldn't do, telling a man that you are the weakest link. But you tell that devil, get thee behind me, Satan, because I can do all things through Christ, which give me the strength. You tell that devil to get thee behind me, Satan, because guess what? I'm pressing towards the mark. And if you get in my way, you getting ready to get bulldozed out of my way because I'm on my way to the promised land. I'm on my way to my breakthrough. I'm on my way, amen, to the Lord Jesus Christ. I got to make sure I'm present. Let me tell you something, man. You don't want to live a life of regret without trying. That is one of the worst feelings you can ever feel by taking your last breath knowingly that you didn't even try to become the best version of yourself. That's one of the worst feelings ever. You don't want to live a life of regret. You don't want to be a shoulda, coulda, coulda, woulda. You don't want to be a one hit wonder. Let me tell you something. Greater is he that is in you than he that is of this world is in you. You have nobody but to blame yourself if you don't take that, that first step. You don't have nobody but to blame yourself. It's all getting ready to be your fault. Let me tell you something. Judgment day is real. Judgment day is coming. And God going to ask you, what did you do with the gift, amen, that I have given you? What did you do with the anointing that I equipped you with? What did you do with the voice that I have given you given you? What did you do with the with the different talents and what did you do with the assignment that I have given you? It's going to be no excuse 
because God and gave you chance after chance after chance after chance after chance. There is no excuse. So you got to realize, children, man, we can be our own worst critic, amen, for not even trying. You can be your own worst critic for not taking that first step, for not putting your best foot forward. Don't let the devil play tricks with your mind. Don't let the past get the best of you. They call it the past for a reason. Leave it behind you and go get what God got for you. Let me tell you what's going on. Stop allowing people to compare you to other people because guess what? God made you different. You are beautifully and wonderfully and fearfully made in the likeness and image of God. Let me tell you something, man. If God made everybody the same, guess what? Life wouldn't even be worth living. But the fact that God made everybody different. The fact that God created everybody differently, it just make life worth living now because guess what? We all got different gifts. We all got different talents. We all got different strengths. Glory be to God. We all have a different level of anointing. And what I mean to tell you, chosen ones, if God is for you, can nobody be against you? You ain't got nothing to worry about. You know how many people are dying, amen, without even trying? You know how many people are dying without fulfilling their dreams? You know how many people are dying without accomplishing their goals? You know how many people are dying, amen, without writing their visions down and making it plain? And here it is, you still in the land of the living and you still not trying. You in the land of the living and you still not putting your best foot forward. You in the land of the living. You mean to tell me you're going to let some people criticize you and judge you to take you away from your purpose, take you away from your destiny. The devil is a liar and the truth and in him. But I'm going to tell you, you got greatness on the inside of you. What I'm going to tell you, man, you got the anointing. You got the oil in his form from the crowns of your heads to the very soles of your feet. What I'm going to tell you is in you and people are going to point fingers at you. They're going to tell you what you should be. They're going to tell you what you ain't. They're going to tell you who you are. But I'm going to tell you right now that God has the last say so over your destiny. Let me tell you something. When God calls you, just make sure you be present. And say, here I am, Lord. Lord, I know I just sinned and fell short of the glory of God. But Father God, here I am. It's me, oh Lord. I'm standing in the need of prayer. It's, it's me, God. I'm putting my best foot forward. It's me, Father God. At least I'm trying. You would never know until you try. That's why That's why one of the quotes and one of the sayings is, don't, don't ever knock something until you try it. Don't knock it until you try it. You got to realize, man, you've been you've been knocking yourself down. You've been putting yourself down. Hey, man, you've been allowing other people to put you down. Hey, man, you've been allowing other people to speak negative things over your life to bring you down. And you got to realize the more you allow people to speak over your life, guess what? It can come to pass. But the minute you rebuke every negative plot and plan that's coming against your life, the minute you say, hey, man, for God, I live for God, I die. The minute you say that I can do all things through Christ, which give me the strength and you go out there and put your best foot forward. I promise you, God's getting ready to take the next step for you because you got a plan. God got a plan of your life. God got a vision for you. God got a bigger opportunity for you. Chosen. I'm telling you, man, you don't want to die in regret. Because guess what? You can't blame, no, blame nobody but yourself. It's going to be your fault. You can't blame your mama. You can't blame your daddy. You can't blame these so-called friends. You can't blame these evil family members. You can't blame these nosy ass neighbors. Excuse my French. But you can't blame these church members. You're going to have to blame yourself. Because guess what? God didn't give you plenty of chances. You can't sit up here and tell, tell me that God didn't give you plenty of chances. You out here living a life, amen, of regret, and you ain't out here trying, and God gave you enough tools, amen, to make it to the next level. God ain't equipped you with enough tools to make it to the next level, and you not, at least you not even trying. Do you know where I would be if I never, ever started preaching, if I never, ever took that step and say, Lord, you know what, I'm going to do it anyway, and I'm here to tell you right now, just do it. If you a motivational speaker, just record it. Glory be to God. If you a basketball player, just shoot your shot. Shoot it because guess what? You never know. It might go in, it might not. But the fact that you try, guess what? The possibility of God blessing you is going to work out in your favor. The possibility that God going to turn your life around for your good is going to work out in your favor because guess what? You tried. 
If you a doctor, guess what? Go up there and take that test. Take that state board's test. If you a nurse, if you a lawyer, go take that state board's test and try. You don't know what God is getting ready to do for you. You got to realize there's so many things that's coming against us. Because guess what? A lot of people know that you got it in you. The devil knows that you got it in you. The devil knows that if you just at least try, it's over for him. But the minute you give up and you land on that couch and you being lazy and you telling yourself that you ain't nothing, you telling yourself that you can't do it, you telling yourself that it's too hard, guess what? It's going to be too hard. Be very careful of the words that are coming out of your mouth because life and death is in the power of the tongue. Start speaking life over your life. Start saying that I am more than a conqueror. I will not be defeated. I am destined for greatness and nothing, and I mean nothing by any means, is going to harm me. Nothing is going to stop me because guess what? I got the God in me. Let me tell you what's going on. You got people comparing you to other people because you know why? They ain't doing nothing, amen, but being a shoulda, coulda, woulda. You got people telling you who you are and you got people telling you what you ain't because you know why? They ain't nothing but a shoulda, coulda, woulda. You know why? Because they're living their life of regret right now and they're going to point fingers at you because guess what? You're doing what they're not doing. You're doing something that they can't do. Let me tell you something. I don't know what it is, but there is something that you do that nobody else can do. And I'm here to tell you right now, you better do it until the death of you. You better perform your gift of God for God until the death of you. You better do what you need to do. So the minute you go into them pearly white gates, the minute you see God face to face, let me tell you something. He going to say, hey, man, you've been faithful over a few things. And I'm getting ready to make you rule over many. And one thing you don't want to hear God say is depart from me because guess what? I never knew you. You don't want God to say that because you know where you're going. You're going to that lake of fire with the devil. The one that's been playing tricks with your mind. The one that's been playing tricks with your, with your heart and with your spirit. But I'm here to tell you right now that if you blot out the devil, if you resist the devil, he going to flee from you. If you continue to put your foot on the devil's necks, guess what? He ain't going to harm you. If you continue, amen, to stump on scorpions and snakes, I promise you by any means, they will not harm you because you belong to God. Where is your faith? Who do you really believe in? Because if you really believe in God, you would take that, that first step, I promise you. If you really believe in the most high God, let me tell you something. You would get out here and try your very best. Let me tell you something. We all have sinned and fell short of the glory of God. Let me tell you something. I done lost everything like Job, but one thing I did not lose was my faith. Let me tell you something. You may have lost everything, but one thing that you didn't lose, you didn't lose your faith. You didn't lose hope. The devil may have taken everything from you materialistically, but guess what? The devil didn't take that anointing. He can't take that spirit. He can't take your gift. He can't take your talent because you know why? It's on the inside of you, baby. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, Lord, stir up the gift. Lord, stir up the gift in me so I can get out here and get to this paper. Lord, stir up the gift so I can get out here and fulfill my dreams. Lord, stir up the gift in me so I can get out here, amen, and to fulfill my destiny. You got to realize, man, that we are nothing without Jesus. You got to realize that, guess what? We are nothing without him. And why you over here trying to be a people pleaser? Why you trying to prove a point to people? Let me tell you something about people. People will praise you one day and the next day they will crucify you. This is why you got to stay in the will of God. This is why, amen, you got to put your trust in God. This is why you got to be a God pleaser instead of being a people pleaser. Because I'm telling you right now, people are trying their very best to criticize you and judge you and telling you what you're not and telling you who you are because of the simple fact, guess what? They know you out here trying now. They know you out here putting your best foot forward. They know that you got... You got it on the inside of you to make it to the next level. So people are going to come into your life and they're going to tell you who you ain't. They're going to tell you who you are. But I'm here to tell you right now, people cannot put you in a heaven or hell. I don't care what people think about me. I don't care if people judge me or criticize me. Let me tell you something. God has the last say so over my life. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below so I can care less about people criticizing me. 
I can care less about people judging me. Let me tell you something, chosen one. You may not be perfect, but I promise you, you are present. You better make sure you're present. You may not be perfect, but I promise you, you're worth it. But how would you ever know if you're worth it if you don't even try? How you expect to get to the next level of your life if you're not even present? You absent and in sight of God. That ain't cool at all. Let me tell you something, man. And you talking to a living witness of myself. I'm going to keep it 100 to you. Some, sometimes the devil plays tricks in my mind. And, and sometimes he, he gets the best of my mind. But now, guess what? You're not going to get the best of my mind anymore. Because guess what? At least I'm trying now. And you wonder why. Every time you get close to your breakthrough, guess what? Here come that devil playing tricks with your mind. That devil playing tricks with your head telling you, hey, man. You can't do this. The devil, he whispered in your ear telling you you the weakest link. He whispered in your ear telling you what you ain't. Telling you, amen, who you, who you are. This is what the devil will do to you. But do not be conformed to the pattern of this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Let me tell you something. You need to start programming your mind and say, let this mind be in Christ Jesus. Lord, I need you to take over my mind. Lord, I need you to regulate my mind today. Because guess what? I'm getting ready to take this first step, Father God. But it all starts in your mind. The Bible says, so as a man thinketh, so is he. Let me repeat that. The Bible says, so as a man thinketh, so is he. So let me tell you something. Whatever you think, that's what you shall become. Whatever you believe in, guess what? That's what you you assume be you assume what will, will, will become. You got to be careful of the people you keep around you because you soon become the company that you keep. And you got to realize as long as you hanging out with people, hey man, they ain't doing nothing with their lives. Guess what? You ain't going to be doing nothing with your life. As long as you hanging around these Debbie doubters, as long as you hanging around these judgmental people, these criticizing people, guess what? You're going to be judgmental. You're going to be criticizing other people. You're going to be talking about other people. Let me tell you something, man. Be ye separate and come out from amongst them Because I'm here to tell you right now God got a plan for you God got a vision for you One thing I learned, guess what? You can't be hanging out with everybody You can't be following everybody else's footsteps You can't be following everybody else's footpath and, and direction Let me tell you something In all of your ways, guess what? God is going to, he's going to order your steps In all of your ways, God is going to direct your path in all of his ways, excuse me, God is going to order your step. In all of his ways, guess what? God is going to direct your path. And that's why I say no, not one is perfect. Nobody will ever be perfect. You got to realize, children, that guess what? Our ways are not like God's ways. Our thoughts are not like God's thoughts. But I promise you, if you pray and say, Lord, I need you to... I need you to take every thought into captivity Take every negative thought into captivity Father God Lord I need you to take every negative thought And throw it into the pits of hell to where it belongs Because guess what I am destined for greatness Guess what's going to happen God going to take that negative thought And he going to throw it to the lake of fire And guess what God going to do He going to start putting positive thoughts in your mind God going to start putting people in your life That's going to give you encouraging words God going to put people that's going to motivate you To get to the next level God going to send the right people that's going to help you win out here God going to send the right people that's going to pray for you God going to send the right people Amen that's going to push you towards greatness Let me tell you something Don't you ever give up on yourself Because somebody gave up on you Let me repeat that I said, don't you ever give up on yourself because somebody gave up on you. Let me tell you something. They gave up on you for a reason because simply you are the diamond in the rough. They gave up on you because guess what? They can't go with you to this next level. They gave up on you because guess what? You are just too anointed. Hey Amen. They can't handle you. You too much to handle in the spiritual realm. They gave up on you because you know why? They never believed in you in the first place. But guess who did? God did. All we can do is try. All we can do is put our best foot forward and say, greater is he that is in me than he that is of this world. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to take my last breath out here without me at least trying. Because look what God is doing by me trying. God is opening up doors. God is making ways. God is constantly, amen. He's constantly blessing me. Every time I turn around, the Lord just keep on blessing me. And all we can do is try, chosen one. Stop beating yourself up, man. Because you make a couple mistakes. 
stop beating yourself up because you have fallen flat on your face. I don't know who this message is for, but you are flat on your back right now. I'm here to tell you right now, God told me to tell you to get up. By the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, God just told me to tell you right now to get your ass up and go get this bag. Get up and go get what God has for you. You're going to let somebody else talk about you, criticize you, judge you, telling you who you are and telling you what you ain't. And you still go lay down in that bed and not get up and become the best version of yourself. Get your ass up and go get this bag. You get up out of that bed and you ask God to renew your mind, to renew your heart and to renew your spirit and watch God. Watch what he do for you. You get on your knees and say, Lord, guess what? Yes, I have sinned. Lord, yes, I have fell short of your glory, but Lord, I'm trying. Too many people point fingers out here, but God darn it, guess what? At least I'm trying. Let me tell you something, man. You made some mistakes, but man, but guess what? Pick yourself back up again. Try all over again, man. We not perfect, man, but we worth it. I promise you. It's going to be worth it in the end. Trust me when I tell you, man, let me tell you something, man. You looking at a living witness, man. You looking at a walking miracle. I'm a walking testimony. And I'm going to testify of his goodness. You know how many times that devil wanted me to be defeated? You know how many times that devil was playing tricks for my mind? You know how many times the devil told me I can't do this and I can't do that? But you know how many times I said, devil, you a liar, I'm going to try. Devil, you a liar, I'm going to put God first. Devil, you a liar, guess what? Greater is he that is in me than he that is of this world. You're not going to play tricks with my mind today, devil. You want me to tell you, children, don't let nothing, amen, alter your mind. Don't let nothing alter your spirit. No substance, no alcohol, no weed. Let me tell you something. Let this mind be in Christ Jesus. Glory be to God. Hey, my, 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 my. You be sober minded. Always be sober minded. Stay vigilant. Stay in the will of God. Because he knows what's best for you. The devil want to take you up out of here, man. I promise you. The devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. Ah, my, 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 my. Hallelujah. But God comes that we might have life. And we might have it more abundantly. My, 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 my. Bless your name today, God. You got to realize, chosen ones, that your time is now. The devil don't want you to get what God has for you. But we rebuke the devourer in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the devourer right now. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is of this world. You're not a low life. You're not a loser. You are destined for greatness, man. You are destined for greatness, man. You got a purpose that needs to be fulfilled. You got an assignment that God has given you, man. At least try, man. It's not going to hurt to at least try, chosen ones. It's not going to hurt to at least try. At least try. Shoot your shot for Jesus. Shoot your shot for heaven. Shoot your shot. Amen. Because guess what, man? God got a plan for you. God got a vision for you. And what I'm going to tell you right now, man, you don't want to be defeated by the devil playing tricks with your mind. You don't want to live a life of regret. Because you ain't got nobody but to blame but yourself. It's going to be your fault. So what are you going to do with the gift that God has given you? What are you going to do with the talent that God has given you? What are you going to do with it, man? I'm telling you what's going on. You got to have a made up mind. I'm telling you, man, for, for you to at least try, you got to have a made up mind. Because if your mind ain't made up, guess what? You'll go back to doing the things that you used to do. You're going to go back hanging out with the people that you used to hang out with. God said no more. I need you to be ye separate and get up and be the best version of yourself. Because I've called you to do great and mighty things. God said I've called you to dominion, to have dominion. You are dominant. You can do all things through Christ which give you the strength, baby. Trust me when I tell you. God has called you for such a time like this. 
A lot of people are shooting and killing themselves, committing suicide because that's ain't nothing but the trick of the enemy, playing with their mind, playing with their thoughts. A lot of people out here, I promise you, man, they are taking themselves out simply because of their past. They're taking themselves out because guess what? People are telling them what they, who they are and what they, and what they not. Let me tell you something, man. Don't let nobody judge you. Don't let nobody criticize you. Let me tell you something. You do what's best for you. You get out here and, and, and put your best foot forward. And I promise you, God going to take the next step for you, man. We the chosen.